गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स सो इन दिस सेशन दिस इज ऑफ सेशन ऑफ द जनरल एनाटमी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हेल्थ एंड स्ला एंड बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द हेल्थ एंड स्ला लेट एस हैज एन ओवर व्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द स्किन विल बी वन मिनट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द लेयर स्किन विल बी प्रेजेंट एंड स्किन कंसिस्ट ऑफ डर्मिस एंड एपीडर्मिस राइट द स्किन विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एपीडर्मिस एंड डर्मिस लेयर and beneath the skin the subcutaneous tissue will be present and beneath that we can find the muscle layer and then the joint will be present uh, definitely the joint will be present and then bones will be present ultimately the bone will be present right this is the bone which is ultimately present so the skin will be present uh, it consists of the epidermis and the dermis layers and the subcutaneous tissue will be present and then the muscle layer and then uh, the joint will be there and then the bone is also present ultimately so with this overview we are going to discuss about the hilton's law the hilton's law first of all the nerve definitely the muscle will be innervated by one nerve so the nerve which innervates the muscle and it will supply not only innervation innervation means nerve supply so it will innervate it will pierce the muscle and it will supply to that muscle and same nerve will also supply to the underlying joint so now only we discuss it here the muscle will be present and then the joint will be present the muscle will be present joint will be present and then bone will be also present and uh, before that the skin will be present so whatever the nerve which is piercing and which is innervating and supplying this muscle will also supplies to the overlying skin and underlying joint this law is called hilton's law uh, we can see in another way also the joint is innervated by the branch of the motor nerve and also supplies the muscle extending and across the acting across the joint it will extend and acting across the joint and the branch of the nerve often supplies the overlying skin and underlying joint now uh, the exceptions are present in our body in the humans two exceptions are present one is the buccal branch of the mandibular nerve so it pierces the buccinator then according to the law it also supplies to the buccinator but it doesn't supplies this is a exception no that's why it doesn't supplies the muscle and uh, it will be innervating innervation of the buccinator will be the buccinator actually supplied by the buccal branch of facial nerve it actually need to supplied by the uh, buccal branch of the mandibular nerve if there is no any exception but here the buccinator muscle is innervation is different and it supply is different it is actually pierced by the buccal branch of the mandibular nerve and it is supplied by the buccal branch of facial nerve now ultimately you need to remember the exception is buccinator buccinator muscle so it is uh, pierced by the buccal branch of the mandibular nerve and supplied by the buccal branch of facial nerve and coming to other one this uh, is the other exception is the sciatic nerve so we can see the sciatic nerve the sciatic nerve mainly it is the thickest nerve of the body remember this point this is very important thickest nerve of the body okay thickest nerve of body so the sciatic nerve actually it is closely related to the muscle called piriformis muscle again this is an important muscle this is the key muscle of gluteal region remember this also the key muscle of gluteal region is the piriformis okay piriformis gluteal region so this can be asked as mcqs what is the thickest nerve of the body that is the sciatic nerve this can be one mcq and uh, this is an other mcq what is the key muscle of the gluteal region that is piriformis and coming to the topic the sciatic nerve it is closely related to the piriformis muscle and it is occasionally sense a fiber that pierces the piriformis piriformis muscle so according to the hilton's law normally it is pierced by the uh, muscle the sciatic nerve is pierced by i mean sciatic nerve pierces the piriformis muscle then it need to supply the piriformis no but here the exception is it doesn't supply remember this point it doesn't supply and uh, the piriformis is supplied by the directly by the sacral plexus okay directly it is supplied by sacral plexus again it is important the piriformis muscle is pierced by the sciatic nerve but it is not supplied by the sciatic nerve unless it is supplied directly by the sacral plexus and the nerve is called nerve to the piriformis as it is a key muscle of the gluteal region this is all about the hilton's law please share subscribe to this channel and uh, for more videos you need to subscribe and uh, turn on the bell notification also uh, bell icon so that you'll get each and every notification when i upload a new video and uh, share it on different platforms please share it and thank you so much for your support and join the telegram channel for the notes the upcoming doctors and uh, same join the instagram follow me on the instagram the upcoming doctors notes is available there also thank you so much for your support thank you